So, so tell the viewers uh, what's a little like tidbit about what the play is about. Well, it starts with my mother. Uh, I portray my mother briefly worrying about me out in the yard singing, you can't get a man with a gun <laughs> after I'd seen Annie, uh, Annie get your gun. And it basically follows my life in the theater from the time I was a lonely kid in West Texas who dreamed of, of a career that I didn't have any idea existed. What is one of the uh, like most standout stories to you? And you have to pick one. I know you have a bunch. Once here in Austin, I, <laughs> I was working props for a show, and we had a stage manager who was very by the book, and everything, you know, you're supposed to be calm, you're supposed to stay calm, and I hear her saying, Jason, there is a fire on the stage. And I thought, well, she can't be saying there's a fire because she's too calm. <laughs> and then this woman appears behind me, grabs a fire extinguisher, and comes through the window of the set and puts out. And all of these actors are watching this fire. It's, it's, it's a candle. It's gotten out of control. It's gotten to some paper, and it's heading for the curtains, and they're just watching it. <laughs> so no one wanted to break oh, character. And, he, and, you know, and me, I would have broken the biggest law in the world because I'd have stuck my head through the window and said, run for your lives. You know? oh so, God. yeah, you never know. You never know. Well, you have these awesome wigs behind oh, you. Yeah. And you actually come out into the theater as... As my mother. Okay, I was going to say, that who's is, your inspiration for this? <laughs> you know, we always said that my mother wrote the Bible. <laughs> you know, she wrote it by hand, and then she got over it at, at about 65. Then she, she, um, she learned to bartend, and she was a whole lot more fun. 